Electric vehicles are powered by batteries in a battery pack. But did you know that there's a second battery? Just like internal combustion vehicles, electric vehicles also have a 12 volt battery. And today we're gonna cover why that's important, why Tesla is changing theirs, and why you may wanna change yours as well, and just how to do it. So let's take a look. Let's start with the 12 volt battery. The 12 volt battery is used to power some of the basic components of the vehicle. It powers things like your windows, your locks, your entertainment system, your lights, and so forth. But along with that, it also powers the safety. Because your electric vehicle has a large battery, there is a lot of high voltage wiring and that high voltage doesn't need to be run all the time. So when it's needed, the 12 volt will connect the high voltage wiring and when it's not needed, it will disconnect it. The same way on an internal combustion vehicle, the 12 volt is used to essentially get the car started. That initial ignition is what the 12 volt is needed for. So no matter what, that 12 volt battery is required and needed. Typically electric cars are powered by lithium ion batteries in their large battery pack. This is their battery pack that powers the car. This is what propels the car forward. However, when it comes to the 12 volt battery, Tesla has always used a lead acid battery. Now, what is the difference between these two? Well, for starters, lead acid batteries are far cheaper than lithium ion batteries. Up front, but over the course of the battery's lifetime, lithium ion batteries make far more sense. Not only that, but lead batteries, they have a limited cycle life. And so even the best deep cycle lead batteries are good for about 500 to 1000 cycles. And if you're frequently tapping into your battery bank, then that could mean that your batteries may need a replacement in less than two years. In fact, Tesla had a reoccurring issue with its 12 volt batteries, and many in the community have seen their 12 volt batteries die on them with no warning sign whatsoever, which could cause you to be locked out of your vehicle and essentially stranded. Now, Elon did address that they would be uh, solving this by giving customers a heads up when their 12 volt battery is going to die, but that doesn't address the problem and how to resolve it until their most recent 2021 Model S and X refresh. In fact, in an interview with Sandy Monroe, Elon did acknowledge that in their new refreshed vehicles for Model S and X 2021 and probably later, they're gonna be changing their 12 volt battery to a lithium ion battery. With the, with the new SX, we're also, we're, we're finally transitioning to a lithium ion uh, 12 volt. Uh, so, oh, good. Yeah, That's so an the, excellent idea. Smaller box. It, it's got more, you know way more capacity, and yeah. and the 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 the, it, the the calendar and cycle life match that of the of the main pack. Oh, cool. So we should have done it before now, but it's great that we're doing it now. This is also like this is one of those like you know inside baseball victories. That's yeah. kind of a big deal. This means more capacity, more cycles. Essentially, your battery shouldn't need to be changed quite nearly as often and should essentially last the same amount of time as your main battery pack. So if you drive a Tesla that is older than the new 2021 Model S or X, most likely your 12 volt battery is gonna need to be replaced uh, soon if you haven't replaced it already. Luckily, it's not very hard to do. Now, I recently did mine and it was super simple. It took less than 30 minutes and all I needed was a 10 millimeter socket wrench. So a couple things to keep in mind, you obviously want to open the frunk, uh, open all the doors and windows, and then disconnect the uh, high voltage wiring underneath the rear passenger seat. If you just lift up the corner, there is a little latch there which allows you to lift up the seat and disconnect that cable. That will cut the power. Now, before doing so, you wanna make sure you power down the vehicle. Um, and then upon doing so, you've now shut off the high voltage wiring in the vehicle. You can then, now that you've got the frunk open, remove the initial cover plate off the top that's closest to the windshield, remove the grate uh, for the air inlet, and then there is a bracket that holds the battery in place. Remove that bracket, disconnect the positive and negative terminals, and that will then free the battery and allow you to lift it right out. There actually is a little handle which makes it convenient. 
Now, in my case, I decided to replace my battery with actually a lithium ion battery. You can replace yours with a lead acid battery directly from Tesla, or you can choose to upgrade yours like Tesla's doing with their S and X models to a new lithium ion battery. It is gonna be a slightly a little bit more expensive, but you're gonna get more longevity out of it, more cycle time. Uh, it's overall a much better battery. Now, the most important part about this battery is weight. When it comes to electric vehicles, efficiency is everything. And so shaving weight is important. Now, when looking at these two batteries side by side weight wise, it was insane to see the difference on how much heavier the lead battery was compared to the lithium ion battery. In fact, my three year old daughter could not lift up the lead battery. Sweetie, can you try to pick up the battery with the yellow handle? That's the one that came with Dada's car. Ooh. Okay. Now try to pick up the other battery, the new one. <laughs> hey, come back here with my battery. But she lifted up the lithium ion battery with ease and she kind of helped me out with it. So that just shows you just how much weight you'll be saving from the car by going to a lithium ion battery. And to me, that was the most important part. I'm all about efficiency and if I can gain a little bit more range by a 3X lighter battery, I'm definitely gonna do so. So for me, longer life, better performing and overall less weight uh, on a battery was a no brainer for me. So I went with a lithium ion battery. Now I'll put a link to the battery that I uh, upgraded to down in the description below if you're interested. But like I said, you can get another uh, lead battery or you can upgrade to lithium ion. The choice is yours. Now, Tesla's goal here is to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy and that's making affordable vehicles. The point of the Model 3 was a vehicle for the masses at 35K. To do so, you focus on cost. You prioritize cost of parts and it's a no brainer that lead batteries are far cheaper than lithium ion batteries. And so it makes sense why Tesla started there. Now, Tesla is constantly innovating and improving their production on their vehicles. And so it's a no brainer that they are now starting to move from a lead battery to a lithium ion battery that gives better performance, better longevity in their S and X line. Maybe the margins are a little bit higher there, so they're able to do that. Well, hopefully we see that reflected on future three and Y models. But until then, upgrade option, that's in the description down below. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about the batteries in your electric vehicles. You left a little bit more educated and a little bit more knowledgeable on if your 12 volt should fail, you know exactly what needs to be done to replace that and why. If you found the information in this video helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. Have you replaced your 12 volt battery or are planning to? Let me know down in the comments down below. Are you gonna go to a lithium ion one or are you just gonna replace it with another lead battery? Uh, I'm interested. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.